pretty neat little wall back in Kovalo after maybe seven years it's it's a crack where I on sighted one of my first eight C's considering maybe the crack fits my style for on sighting there is a few new routes um, in particular La Musa 9A opened by Silvio Refo from last year that I'm curious to give it a good onside go. Let's see. Plus as a part of warm up, that's pretty hard, but you know, 9A on site, I guess, requires quite a hard on site to be 100% sure that I'm ready. Hard to tell if it's the right onside candidate. Looks pretty e easy, like up to the fifth bolt, and then it's pretty obvious that for the next two bolts it's really hard. Then it looks quite easy again. There's still always an option to give it a flash try, as I talk to Silvio, and if I want, and if I change my mind, he will send me a very detailed video from which I will be able to see the beta quite well. So far I refused. And I think I'll stick to the plan. Just try to give it an onside try. Thinking that I could onside this super hard bouldery short 9A mm, was maybe a bit too ambitious. I failed in the first hard move. Then I gave it a second go, but I found out it's actually really hard and bad for the skin. That I kind of gave up because I was kind of on the fringe of opening a tip. So there is another, let's say, 8C plus with some broken holds. So it's not climbed at the moment. Um, 
at the moment could be 9A, so I just checked out the moves. I actually tried it many years ago as an 8C+, couldn't do it, so now I check the moves and let's give it a try. Guerriero del futuro means the fighter of the future. The very beginning is amazing, powerful climbing on tufas. Fortunately, there are some knee bars that takes a bit of the resistance away, but still, no matter what, you have to climb with a lot of attention and using quite a bit of power from the very beginning. The climbing style of this route is quite typical for Kovalo, where the length of the route never really exceeds 15 meters. But, you know, the climbing is hard from the bottom all the way to the top, so you definitely cannot underestimate the endurance of the climbing. This knee bar is the last rest before the very intense and hard section right above that requires a lot of power endurance. In the next section, it's all the time climbing on semi-good holds that are pretty far apart. It's pretty steep. The footholds are never really that great and you barely can stop for choking up or even clipping. Clipping this quick draw is absolutely essential. There is no way that you would skip this, but it definitely takes quite a lot of power away. This is probably the hardest move of the whole route. That's the first hold broke, but then it's definitely not over. You keep climbing, the climbing is like really intense continuously on small holes. Every single move is pretty hard and pretty tense and it all leads into this second section where a hold broke off, where now we have to take this tiny, tiny side pull. The food holds are not great and you have to make a dead point into a pretty decent edge. You clip and right here there is an 8B plus that comes there from the left. And that's a route that I onsighted many years ago and I thought like, ah, it's all right. I will just try to retro onsight. But then I got here, I was like completely pumped, total flash pump. I had no idea what to do. <laughs> and there was no way to finish it off. <laughs> On my first try, I didn't check it out, thinking like, ah, I should probably just save some power, save some energy, save some skin. It was a bad decision. No, 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 resistenza. Mamma mia. Non poteva. Non l'ho guardato, pensavo che sia facile. So, obviously, after that, I went up, checked out the moves, made sure that I'm not going to fall. And then on my next try, I was maybe a little more tired, I was not climbing that efficient. I took this three finger crimp and no. It was kind of getting darker and I knew that I had only one last try. And definitely the previous two tries took quite a lot of energy out of me. And despite being much more tired, I knew that the way to get to the top is to climb faster and more efficient. This move felt quite a bit harder than before and reaching this side pull underkling I could definitely feel the fatigue but now I knew that I had to climb as precisely and as quickly to the next slot.
No. The good thing about like coming from the ground and going for the red point is like you don't feel the pain. And this hole is really painful, but I could crimp as hard as possible and actually did move into the slot with a bit of the margin. Now I'm in the easier power resistance section on the top, already knowing what to do. Still, it's not exactly easy, but I feel that I have a good chance. There's a little bit of rest around here before the last few tiny crimps on the very top. I definitely do want to underestimate the upper section this time. I tried hard and I reached the top in a pretty epic fight, I would say, especially in the crack section. Okay. Quite a fight. <laughs> was not a bad idea to make some mistakes and get a good training. This was amazing training attempt. And great thing that it was successful. It's pretty exciting.